something that needs a little fixing on Far Point Farms. Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina, and today another tool review. This is the Snap Fresh Cordless Drill. You remember Snap Fresh? Before the holidays, they sent me a Sawzall to check out. And I've used it a few times since then. In fact, my neighbor gave me a huge, like, one-inch thick piece of rebar to uh, practice with, to play with, to see if it really would hold up. And it did a good job with it. So they reached out to me and asked, hey, would you like to review another one of our tools? And, of course, I love tools. Most guys love tools, so I'm not going to say no to that. Anyway, this is the BBT-JOZ57C. And uh, this is, you know, this is like homeowner grade. This isn't pro grade, but uh, I'm kind of curious to check this thing out. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and set that aside. So it comes in a nice carrying case. Well, it's like padded too. <laughs> Very cool. Got a little handle there. Nice. Let's go ahead and open it up, see what kind of goodies we got. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't know it came with some extras here, but we got our manual. And wow, looks like get the manual out here. Looks like it comes with some drill bits. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little drill bits in there. Masonry bits and regular bits. So that's really neat. And again, like for the homeowner, think about this. You know, oh, I need to drill a hole through some a brick so I can mount something. So that's really cool that it has both masonry. I'll go ahead and show you the difference. In case you weren't aware, there is a difference between regular drill bits and masonry drill bits. Um, if you were to uh, guess wrong, <laughs> you will find that your drill bit gets very dull very fast. All right, so take a look. That's a regular drill bit. And that right there with the tip is a masonry drill bit. So, cool. Nice. Let's see, so up on top here, it looks like they included a bunch of other stuff. Take a look at that. So we have this, which is neat. A flexible head, so you stick that side into the drill. And then this side allows you to use your bits. And it's really cool, so that's flexible. I don't have one of those. I always wanted one of those. I always looked pretty darn cool to have that. Get into a weird spot you just can't get to, you know? Very cool. And then it looks like we have a whole bunch of, and I won't take all these out, but here we go with flat blades, Phillips. Uh, more flat blades. We've got some Torx bits and looks like hex sizes and then a bit driver uh, attachment here. So if you don't want to use the flex one, you have this option if I can get it out of there. Works, right? So you got all those attachments for that. And of course, you can always just drill that or drill it install that directly into the chuck if you want to use your bits like that. All right, let's see what else we got here. So it looks like it comes with one 20 volt lithium ion battery, just like the other one. And that is uh, 2 amp hour, so not a bad capacity. And let's see if it's got any juice in it. Yeah, actually it's almost fully charged. So that's cool. We don't have to do any charging. It does come with our charger. So let me do that. And I wonder if it says how long it takes to charge this. Two hours. Uh, well, okay. So one hour, or excuse me, 2 amp hour battery takes one hour to charge. And a four amp hour battery takes two hours to charge. So about normal, you know, that's about what you'd expect. Of course, all the snap fresh stuff is compatible. So I have a battery for the uh, Sawzall. And so now I have two batteries. So that's pretty cool when you're doing combo kits. And then here's our drill. Here it is. Uh, color kind of reminds me of the new Ryobi stuff. You know, that like fluorescent yellowish green. Right? And there's our uh, reverse forward and safe or middle. Two speeds up on top, and then our adjustment for depth control or just straight drill. Nice. It's got kind of a soft rubber handle here, and then our battery plugs in down at the bottom. So, yeah, let's check it out. Let's hook up a battery to it and see what else it does. There we go. Ooh, look at that. You can see lightning in there. <laughs> Throwing some fire down range. I guess it wouldn't be good to play with gas tanks while using this. <laughs> but that's actually, that's cool that it's a brand new tool. I don't think I've noticed that on uh, my old Ryobi stuff because it's probably so worn now it doesn't do any of that. But new tool, you're likely to have a little bit of sparking going on there. Here's our chuck, our adjustable chuck. 
And let's go ahead and, and we'll put a flat blade in there just to show you how. So you can either have that, and of course the two speeds. Wow, that's a whole lot faster. <laughs> or you can put in your drill bits. That's slow speed. And <laughs> that's insane speed. <laughs> so it works. So uh, let me set all this aside. And let's lay that thing next to my old bruiser. Ta-da. <laughs> and uh, there we go. Technology has come a small way since back in the day. Look at the size difference here. Right? And I imagine they're probably roughly the same amount of power. And obviously this old Ryobi here has seen some better days. Uh, I can't. I don't have my glasses on so I can't tell you what model number that is. But old. Old is the model number. Now that battery is a lot larger because it's a 4 amp hour. But um, uh, it's lithium ion as well. This is 18 volts. That's 20 volts. So there's not a lot of difference in power most likely. That extra 2 volts. Amp hours, by the way, for those of you who don't know, amp hours is like reserve time. How much time the battery will run. The voltage on these battery power tools is roughly how much juice you're going to have, how much power you're going to have. And of course, there's some more complex math to that, but for the most part, that's what you need to know about voltage and amp hours. Amp hours is how long a tool will run, and volts is how strong that tool will be while it's running. So there you go. Yeah, just just a wee bit size difference there. No, no big difference. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, I don't know. Let's go outside and drill a hole in something just to see how, how it performs. All right, out here in a very snow snow covered cold day. So I won't stick around for very long, but let's check it out. So cold weather use, you know, below freezing right now. Would help if I tighten it all the way down. There we go. Pretty effortless. Holy cow. Yeah. Of course, it helps some that it has a nice sharp drill bit on there. But that was nice of them to include that. Yeah. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> anyway, that's the Snap Fresh cordless drill. Thanks to Snap Fresh for sending that to me to check out. Love to uh, review tools. Would I recommend it? Yeah, sure, man. It's a very inexpensive tool comparatively for cordless tools. Snapfresh is, uh, you know, a new player on the scene, but they're certainly trying. And it's this homeowner grade, you know, this is something for a guy or gal that's got a, their first home or an apartment or townhouse or something like that, need to drill some holes, need to, uh, you know, hang some pictures, stuff like that. Occasional work. I don't know that it would hold up all that great to, uh, you know, to heavy commercial use, but I don't think they're aiming for that market. I think this is, this is a great tool for, for what it is. Anyway, that'll do it for today. I'm Eric, the owner of Farpoint Farms. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Take care.